hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video as i said in my last video in this video i'm gonna connect as you can see on screen my current generator uh, to my point io input card so first of all we're gonna see how i did the connection let me just move my camera to my point io side as you can see over here okay so let me just make this bigger right now okay as you can see oh, let it just focus a little bit hopefully okay so as you can see right now my first input zero is green and other three are blinking red that means there is no connection between them if I'm going to show you my PDF, which has all information about this card, 1734IE2C, the first one is input, and then second one is also input, then chassis ground, then common, and voltage. So what we did here, we connected at this zero. Let me move it for further. Okay, that sounds good. We connected with this zero and common so on zero i connected black wire as you can see on screen and on number four i connected my common which is coming from my voltage and current generator okay let me just make it smaller now and this is my first input card of analog so I'm just gonna go to the property of it and in property what I did as a high engineering side and configuration side as a highest I put 20 and lowest I put 0 over here and on the alarm side I put high high when my current value will go above 18 my high is when it go above 16 my low alarm will trigger when it's gonna be under four and low low when is gonna be under two and I saved all settings so what do we have to do I have already downloaded that so just need to go online we have already path over here so just gonna go straight to that path and go online alrighty we are online now let's go to controller tags and this is our number three so we go to number three input side right here and let's move to the let's move uh, to my current generator right here okay now you can see it's at to number 10 it means it's giving 10 milliampere right here on channel zero so keep watching this channel zero when i'm gonna increase to 11 it will become 11 over there as well oh i need to select somewhere else okay you can see it's changing with my current generator let me just like also okay okay keep watching this now it's 15 16 17 and let me just move this more on this side okay 17 18 so as you can see when i'm 17 when right now i'm 16 and when i'll go above 16 my high alarm turns on right there and when i'm gonna be above 18 my high high alarm will turn and let's go if our low alarm and low low alarm is working so we go under four there you go my low low alarm turning on and when i'm under two my low low alarm will turn on so low alarm and low low alarm is working and high high alarm is also working so what you can do when you do the programming side let's say you want to make some project what i can do here now i can just move the value of my current so 
full instruction I can use. And over here I can select input card number three. Let me just go which one was it? So you just copy from here and you just go back and paste here and move to my current value. Okay, it's gonna be new tag as a dent and it's a base type tag correct and we're gonna create that in main program at create okay so if you see here now when i'm changing this and i keep moving with that and we go back here Take another one and see no option. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull our high, high alarm, low alarm. So this is my low alarm. <clears throat> and this is my high alarm. And this is low, low alarm. And high, high alarm. <coughs> okay, sounds good. And so everything we have visibility from our program now. Let's see if I'm going above 16. There you go. My high alarm turns on. And when I'm going above 18, my high, high alarm turns on. And when I'm going under 4, my low alarm turns on. Under 2, my low, low alarm turns on. So these things <coughs> uh, you can use in your programming. So let's say you're pulling current data over here and you want to make some programming you can do that because now you have all alarms given by your uh, given by your input card and also you can pull the fault as well whenever the fault turns on you can see this fault bit also turns on so we can pull this out of there as well need to do and just add another one and paste it here and there you go so this fault will just trigger doesn't matter if it's a high alarm a high high or low alarm or low low alarm it doesn't really matter but this is gonna just trigger every single time any kind of fault will turn on so we can see what else we have here <coughs> Yeah, everything else is good for the channel zero. Yes. Everything else looks good. You have under range as well. If it's under the range, and let's say on card instead of. 20 I put 19 here apply it's a danger configuration in multi control system just say yes already and if you go back to controller tags all right it's not showing that but the one thing i want to show we can pull the under range as well from here but we don't need that mostly we're going to use that uh, high high alarm and low, low alarm so 
that what we have pulled here now we can say that any program you want to create whenever my file alarm will turn on i want to turn some bit on so that's gonna be my bit i'm just gonna create this as my dent not go and i'm just gonna use the first bit of that and that will turn on every single time my fault will turn on let's say is it okay right now it's under fault see now the way it has so many ways you can program that in it's up to you how you want to program that in but main thing is your input card is giving all your fault high alarm high high alarm and everything and you can pull them easily it's that simple thank you very much for watching this video